a friend of just one of the six American astronauts lost here, Kalpana Chakwa. Remember, six of America's best and brightest are being mourned today, and the first ever Israeli astronaut, a story, a life story, so notable, he is written about in Israeli children's textbooks as they go to school. He has been compared as the Israeli equivalent to what Yuri Gagarin was to the Soviet Union, what John Glenn meant to young American children of his age. In all, the human loss here is staggering. We have remembrance today from NBC News correspondent Kerry Sanders. When they are getting onto the elevator, that will take them down. The Columbia 7, to America, they are heroes. To family members, they were husbands or wives, children, sisters and brothers. It, it was... Uh an unbelievably tragic ending to this. It was all so smooth and it was all so sudden. Laurel Clark, the mother of an eight-year-old son, on her first mission, making her family so proud. She died after she got to see what she had been dreaming for for years now. She'd been working towards that goal of getting up there, and I'm thankful she at least got to do that. And uh, I just wish I could have had a chance to actually hear back from her what it was like. But Clark had been in contact via email from space. She wrote her family a last email on Friday. It says, hello from above our magnificent planet Earth. The perspective is truly awe-inspiring. This is a terrific mission, and we are very busy doing science round the clock. But in their grief, one consolation. They died in pursuit of their dreams. Mission specialist David Brown's mother. This is what Dave wanted to do. And to not be able to go into space would have been the greatest disappointment for him. I, sure, I had my fears, but it's what he wanted to do. Among the crew members on board, Michael Anderson, one of only seven African-American astronauts. Because I'm not worried about uh, Michael suffering, because I know he didn't. Um, he was strong in his faith, and he had made his peace with, peace with God a long time ago. Um, so whatever happened at the end, I'm sure he had no fear. No fear, no regret. Despite their loss, a resolve by family members today that spaceflight must continue. Shuttle pilot Willie McCool's mother. They'll give up the dream on there because science is important to all of us and, and nothing is, is perfect and unfortunately his crew happened to be the one where it wasn't perfect if something happened, but they should not give up the dream. He was a kid in candy store, but you could tell from the, the video clips and things we saw. He was just having the time of his life. The hundred or so family members who had gathered here to welcome home the shuttle crew members are today in Houston, where they are comforting each other and there are professional counselors to help. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Cape Canaveral. And more about the Israeli member of the crew. Here is how important he is to the state of Israel. They do not normally release the names of their decorated fighter pilots because they live in a very dangerous neighborhood on this planet and the possibility of being downed is always with them. They obviously made an exception in the case of Ilan Ramon, a favorite son of Israel, a bona fide military hero, quite literally a son of the Holocaust. His story and a story of a nation in grief today from NBC News correspondent Tom Aspel in Tel Aviv. Well, it's been a day of gloom and doom here. Many Israelis have a feeling that this country just can't get a break. The loss of Colonel Ilan Ramon has been keenly felt all over Israel. At this morning's weekly cabinet meeting, which was also attended by the American ambassador here to underline the cooperation between Israel and the United States, Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon said there would be more Israeli astronauts and that every one of them would carry the memory of Ilan Ramon in their hearts. Here's what he had to say. Times such as these strengthen the bonds of our common faith, values, and vision, all of which were realized in the Space Shuttle Columbia's journey. The seven astronauts who were killed yesterday in the Space Shuttle Columbia are part of the heavy price paid by the human race in its quest for knowledge and our search to explore other worlds. Their death was not in vain. Many journey into space will continue. Flags are at half-staff all over the country. Nobody yet knows what kind of memorial service will be held, 
when and if uh, Colonel Ramon's remains are returned here, but it will be a huge event. Ramon was really a bright spark of hope for the future here, a glimpse of glory so eagerly looked forward to, a reason for Israelis to be optimistic in the face of a long, drawn-out war with the Palestinians, which has killed more than 2,000 people on both sides in just over two years. Israelis are used to death, especially in the military, and Colonel Elan Ramon will join a long list of heroic military men so revered in this culture. And now back to you. My colleague Tom Aspel and our Tel Aviv Bureau uh, on the state of that nation uh, this Sunday. We're going to take another break. Our live coverage will continue after this. We will hear from some living legends of the space program on where to from here. Also, a look back at NASA's history, 144 manned space flights, and on the whole, a history of smooth flying interrupted only by brief but horrible trips.